what's something that just a, a musician, any musician, I guess, really should be listening for focusing on when they're backing up another musician rhythm or where they not getting in the way sort of ideas? Well, yeah, I think it's rhythm is really important. I mean, the rhythm of the particular genre or the rhythm of the song. Um, and, you know, I don't listen to, oh, how can I formulate a banjo part with three finger rolls that can go into this particular genre I'm playing. I listen to what the piano or the guitar or whatever my, else might be in there playing chords. Usually back then it was piano, guitar or tenor banjo. I listen to what they're doing and I formulate what I'm going to do based on their chords and their rhythm. And then if I can work in three finger rolls later, I will. Um, but I want to capture the essence of that music. You know, it's like you're going to a campfire uh, of another culture and, you know, you don't want to offend them. You want to do their you want to compliment. That's what comping means. Comping is just short for complimenting. And the best way to learn how to compliment whoever is the featured soloist or melodist. Is that what it's called? Melodiest? Yeah. <laughs> or whoever's playing the melody or singing the melody, whether it's a another instrument or a singer, uh, you want to compliment it the best. And there's no one better there to follow than the instruments that are there helping them. So e even if it were in uh, music without chords, chord harmony, I would listen to the next closest thing. You know, if it's a bongo drummer, <laughs> if it's... Mm -hmm. You know, because bluegrass yeah. banjo is a bit constant. I mean, I, I relate the rhythm of bluegrass banjo to tablas in North and South Indian classical music. I mean, that's the closest thing. Or, uh, or congas in, uh, you know, uh, Caribbean music. 